Thanks for watching, and today I will show you a math trick that will hands down change your lives, or at least make it faster. Because after watching this video, you will never integrate the same way again. And in fact, let me prove my point. Try to integrate x times arctangent of x your way. And see how different it is. All right, let me guess. You probably did something like that. You integrated by parts, and you found an antiderivative of x to give you x squared over 2, and then times arctangent of x. And then you did minus integral of x squared over 2 times 1 over x squared plus 1 dx. And then you just cried because this is very hard. Instead, here's a really cool trick that I found in the analysis book by Ross. Notice, if you choose an antiderivative, you can really add any constant to it that you want. It would still be an antiderivative. So in particular, instead of choosing x squared over 2, try to choose something that cancels out this x squared plus 1. For instance, let's do x squared plus 1 over 2. And here also, x squared plus 1 over 2. It's totally legit because you're just adding 1 half to your antiderivative. But what makes this nice is that it cancels out this x squared plus 1, and then you're just left with x squared plus 1 over 2 arctangent of x minus integral of 1 half, which is minus x over 2 plus a constant. That's it? Yes, that's it. Aren't you glad you found my video? Yeah, this is awesome. Because again, while your peers spend hours or minutes trying to solve this problem, you just do it in one minute and just relax. Awesome. And in fact, let me show you a couple more examples how to apply this. So for example, speaking of ln DeGeneres, let's try to do the integral of ln of x plus 2 dx. So here the standard trick is, uh, this is 1 times ln of x plus 2. So this becomes an antiderivative of 1 is x. So x plus something, in this case, ln of x plus 2, minus integral of x plus something times 1 over x plus 2 dx. And then what is that something? We want to cancel out the x plus 2. So it becomes x plus 2. And then boom, boom, this cancels out. And you're left with x plus 2 ln of x plus 2 minus integral of 1, so minus x plus a constant. Isn't that nice? And last but not least, let's do one more example that's a bit more non-trivial. And in fact, let's do what a calculus teacher does. Start with an easy problem and then make it spicy enough to become an exam problem. So how about we start with arctangent? But no, arctangent is too easy. Let's do arctangent of square root. Still too easy, square root of x plus 1. Ah, now even Drake would be happy. Dx. OK, and again, same spiel as before. This is 1 times arctangent of square root of x plus 1. And this becomes now x plus something times arctangent of square root of x plus 1. And careful, the answer is not x plus 1. You have to actually have to work a bit harder. Minus integral of x plus something. Now for arctangent, let's use the Chen loop. So this becomes 1 over. 1 plus blah squared, so square root of x plus 1 squared, times a derivative of a square root of x plus 1. So 1 over 2 square root of x plus 1 dx. OK, and here's the thing. Notice the denominator now just becomes x plus 2. So instead of choosing x plus 1, how about we choose x plus 2? Then the nice thing again, the hard terms cancel out, and you're just left with integral of 1 over 2 square root of x plus 1, which just becomes square root of x plus 1 
So in the end, we get x plus 2 arctangent of square root of x plus 1 minus square root of x plus 1 plus a constant. And this is how we do it. All right. I hope you like this. If you want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.